rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. I know, I don't sound a bit like Deborah, do I? No, week after week you're not sounding like Deborah. We've been missing her for, I think, the last two shows. At least. We've and had to carry on. I'm carrying on as best I can. We'll be happy when she gets back and takes over. Yes, we will. She's not going to take over, Randy. She's going to help us with the show. She will indeed. <laughs> it's a team effort. Take it the is village a team and we've got a effort. whole town here. Exactly. Now, this is our going into our 15th year. This episode of Rescue Me, Randy, can you imagine? 15 year anniversary. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And I've gotten some good news. What's that? We've been renewed for another season. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there were a lot of shows canceled this I year. I know, we're like The Good Wife. Hey. We are not like The Good Wife. We are going to be um, continued got, for another year. We have staying power. We have staying power because we have these animals and we have to get them out of here. Well, how can you lose? You know, pets? I've got some more good news. What's that? I'm just full of good news. We have a um, promotion, two things this month until uh, all the money runs out, which means it's going ongoing. Any uh, cat in the county can be spayed or neutered at Woods for five dollars. I think, I think you're, you must have misspoken. I heard five dollars? It's amazing. I mean, this is unheard of. All you have to do is to be a, a, a San Luis Obispo County resident with an unaltered cat, call Woods, make an appointment, and your cat will be spayed or neutered. It's fabulous. That's an unbelievable price. Five so bucks. there's no excuse for any cat to be unspayed or unneutered. Now's the time. And number two, North County of Maine is offering $1 microchipping. Whoa, wait a second. Those things cost more than that wholesale. So. Exactly. So you get your cat spayed or neutered, travel up to North County, get the chip in, that cat set, and take your dogs to North County of Maine as well for the, the microchip, microchip, which means we will be out of business. That's what we want. We want to be out of business. Every animal should be ID'd. They all have microchips. They all get home to their owners. Exactly. Nobody comes to the shelter. What Nobody comes to the shelter. Little Cassie here, we have to talk about her, too. She's oh, just been spayed. She is behaving herself so well, or is she just doped up? Well, this is how she is anyway. I mean, she's a little bit more lively, but she's very sedate here because she has just been spayed. But she's a doll. Uh, volunteers give her such high marks in every department. She is your ideal lap cat, com lap cat, lap, lap cat. dog. <laughs> she wants to be with you, loves to watch TV, is at your side, asks for nothing, and she's so small she could fit into any situation. You got a teacup, you need a dog. She's ideal. And her number. Yes. You got to have that number when you call in and say which dog is it. Yes. It's number 211699. She is the sweetest. Anybody would be lucky to have her. That's, lucky to that's have That's Cassie. Here we have Ruby. And the breed we've got for Ruby is a Dutch Shepherd. I don't know if we've ever had a Dutch Shepherd. In I've never before. heard of a Dutch Shepherd. I don't know. Well, I guess it's a Dutch Shepherd. A Shepherd so from Amsterdam. If you've been hankering for a Dutch Shepherd, we've got one for you. She is a very handsome girl, Ruby. She will get you noticed, I'd say, if you're out and about. She's a good running companion. She's just about three years old. As far as her obedience training goes, she knows sh sit and shake. She's a good watchdog, very protective. And this is one of her her areas that she really is, we've noticed, the volunteers have noticed that she is protective. So if that's of interest, she is a great dog. She is ID number 206420, and her name is Ruby. Here's what about a, these ears? This is a tiny one with big ears. I love these ears. This is Angelo. Let me take a look here. Whoa. This is Angelo, Randy. He's a cute little Angelo. Mm. He's training to be a lap dog. Right now, his training is in progress as, you, as we speak. Well, he's on a lap. He's a dog. He's mm -hmm. got it down pat. He's a lap dog. He'll make you a good friend. Volunteers like this guy a lot. His ID number is 211753. That is Angelo. Introducing Gizmo and his trick partner, Greer. Yay. Yay! We love Gizmo down here. He has been down here since January, if you can believe that, Randy. That's way, 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 way too long. This is a dog that's just overlooked. That's all there is to it. It must be because he looks beautiful. He, he behaves beautiful. great. He's a nice dog. Volunteers love him. He even rolls over and lets you tickle his tummy. That's oh, how yes, fun he is. <laughs> yes, he does. 
He's just a fun dog. He's a fun dog. And he seems to be okay with cats, if you can believe that, too. <laughs> he loves to play fetch. He loves to play with a ball. He's got some obedience under his belt, if you will. Sit, down, shake, stay, and come and roll over. Yeah. Yes, that's you. He's I mean, an educated dog. Really. I think, folks, you've got to come down and meet him. He is so overlooked. We need to get him out of here. We have half his adoption feed paid. They do fall apart. Gizmo has been holding it together, though, for a very long time. He really has. And volunteers will be so happy when he walks out the door and they can wave goodbye to him because he's so sweet and so good. So consider Gizno, Gizmo now, 210063. He's a doll. Well, this is a newcomer to the shelter. We found this dog on the 13th of May in San Luis City near uh, Laguna Lake. She must, was at the dog park. Must have been looking very carefully because she's tiny. She is tiny, and she was just left behind at a dog park, a Lars at the dog, po dog, dog park. She didn't give us the full information. She's a dog, you know, but that's where we picked her up on the 13th. So if you've left your dog behind and this looks like her, come down to the shelter and claim her. If you don't, we're going to be calling this little one Bonnie, and she'll be available for adoption on the 19th of May. She's just about a year and a half old, and she is a doll. Very, very sweet. Very, very cute. ID number 211776, Bonnie. Right now, Randy, you're looking at Edwin. He has the look I like. The look of licking Larry. Look, he's a lovable dog, and he's a, just that nice right size, that medium-ish. He's, he's solid, but he's not big. Not, not that big. He needs a very calm, quiet environment. He wants to be in a home, and that's it for him. His ID number is 210604. His name is Edwin. Well, here's a dog that the volunteers say is a good ball dog. This is Tully, and he likes to play fetch, loves his ball and rope toys, too. And he's cute. He's Look cute. at that face. Oh, I see some kind of Great Dane in there. I don't know why, but he's kind of got that Great dane look. He's a big boy. He loves to go on walks, and he loves the agility yard. Can you imagine him in the agility yard? Well, you have to have a big yard, because mm. he's probably very agile in long-distance runs. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. He's got long legs. In his profile, he also knows sit and shake. So, yeah, good. Tully's number, 211068. This is Lily, and she's kind of new to the shelter. We don't know a whole lot about her, but so far, she gets very high marks in every category. Very sweet. She looks very nice here. She appears to be house-trained, and she's good on the leash. Her name is Lily, and our ID number is 210350. Here's Tommy, and he is uh, another pit bull. We've got a lot of pit bulls down here. We can't stress enough about spaying and neutering dogs. I mean, we have more and more pit bulls, and sometimes people think it's just a great thing to do to let their animals have uh, puppies, but it's not. We have enough dogs to go around and around and around. So keep in mind, spay and neuter. Tommy here is a great dog. He's good on a leash and he likes to play. His ID number 211645. Tommy. In contrast to our pit bulls, we have little T-Bone here. He is just adorable, snuggled up with Judy there. What's going on? We don't have many medium-sized dogs. They're tiny. No. They're giants. It's true. Anyway, T-Bone says, talk about me, talk about me. I'm a little guy. He is a volunteer favorite. He is just so gentle, just so sweet, and basically what you're seeing him do is what he wants to do, and he's very good at it. He's watching himself in the monitor, <laughs> what he's doing, but yeah, put a TV in front of him and he'll be fine. Really cute. T-Bone's number is 211598, and he's just three months old. Oh, a puppy. He's not going to get a whole lot bigger. He is a mix of a Chihuahua and a Patterdale Terrier, so he's going to be a small dog. But he is just three months old, so he's a puppy. And very calm, I think, for a puppy. I've never seen a puppy sit so still so long. I know. Okay, T-Bone, 211598. Just when I said there were no medium-sized dogs, here comes one. Yeah, but his ear's broken. I hope Sandy fixes his ear there. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. Quick repair. Quick repair. Okay, this is Milo. He is a newcomer. Uh, he came in on the 12th of May. So 
On the 18th of May, he'll be available for adoption. He came in from Santa Maria, and he's just about a year old, and he looks to be a pointer mix. They're very popular, those dogs. Volunteers like this guy a lot. I think he needs to come out of his shell a little bit more, but volunteers are working on that. This is a great dog, just about a year old, and his ID number is 211759, Milo. Say hi to Abby. She is a bulldog pit bull mix with a face that only a mother can love, Randy. <laughs> Mothers do love those ugly faces, but what the heck, it's a dog. She's very cute. She um, loves children. That's her thing, or her claim to fame that the volunteers have found out. She uh, gravitates toward them when they go into the play yards to meet dogs. She loves them. So she must have grown up with some kids. She also likes other dogs but is particular about who she plays with. So you have to have the right dog if she's gonna team up with them. She is ID number 211562. Her name is Abby. Now here's a cutie pie dog that somebody's gotta be looking for. I mean, this dog is a newcomer to the shelter. We have found, we came by this dog on the 14th of May uh, in Grover Beach at the 500 block of Long Branch Road. This dog's about three years old and male. We're gonna call him Klondike if nobody comes to collect him. And he'll be available for adoption on the 20th of May. He's got a black harness on. He came in with that. So if you have lost a dog like this with a black harness, he's yours. No identification whatsoever. We'll suggest to everybody once again to get an ID on your animal. If you would just print your phone number on any collar, a canvas collar, a Sharpie marker in your hand, print your phone number on a collar, and your dog does not have to wind up on the sh at the shelter. And if you want to get a microchip, North County of Maine, Randy has microchips for how much? One dollar. Um, we're serious about this, folks. One dollar microchip, you can't pass it up. North County of Maine. And I'll remind you of the five dollar spay neuter for cats at Woods Humane while supplies last, which means it can go on indefinitely. So let's get back to Klondike here. He had to sit down after all that talking. His number is 211793, 211793. The thing that Jackson loves most in the world besides his lunch and dinner is the ball. He is like a play ball nut. He really, really loves the ball as you can see. He is, uh, Okay on the leash, he's a little bit strong, he's going to need some training, but he's a great, great guy. He loves to play ball. So if that's in your future, it could be, I mean, he could be in your future if that's something that you like. His name is Jackson, ID number 211161, just about three years old. Here's another one of those scruffy dogs that people seem to like. They really are so cute. You just, you know, they just melt you when you see them. This is Oscar. He is uh, ID number 211442. He's just about two years old. And of course, Randy, he came in with a collar on, a green canvas collar. And Did it have a number on it, a phone number? We guess call? what? No, it didn't. Oh, man. Once again, Oscar could be with his person, but no, he's with us instead. And the only number we have on him is his ID number, which for you is 211442, Oscar. I can't believe Bambi is still here. This is a puppy, three months old, adorable, and will not get much bigger than she is right now. And she's very calm and collected and nice and fun. What more could you want? A I don't cute know. little puppy. I think she is yet undiscovered. That must be it. That's it. If you're looking for a puppy and you like Bambi, her number is 211601. We named this dog Lefty. I don't know really why we named him Lefty, is he a but paw, maybe? <laughs> maybe I don't know. But maybe he uses that left paw to unlock his kennel. Oh, he can what? do that. Well, he's definitely right-brained. Then. So possibly that's how we got the name Lefty. I don't know, but he can do that. He is a very clever dog. With a little training, this dog can do any number of things. I I guarantee you. I really believe that he is one of the smartest dogs we've ever had. Have here but he needs some way to translate this intelligence into some kind of work. He's going to need that. Give him a job as a professor. Something like that. <laughs> you always come up with the best ideas, Randy. Oh, sure. He likes fetch and frisbee for right now, before he gets heavy into any book study. <laughs> 
He is ID number 211183, and his name is Lefty. Handsome, handsome boy. This is Tracker. He's one of our medium dogs, Randy. We said we didn't have any medium. He's totally medium. Yeah, they proved me wrong. They brought three or four little medium ones. Mm -hmm. And he's this color that I love, this tricolor, the tan, the black, and the white. I think that's a very smart suit he wears. <laughs> and he's a very smart dog. He is ID number 913823. He would make a very good companion to a person. He really likes his person, one person. So if you are that person, you're going to have a great dog in Tracker. His ID number is 913823. Now here's a really nice get along with everybody dog and a nice size. He's like, you know, little medium on the little medium side. Bigger than a small chihuahua, but a little, he's a, he's a dog. You know what I mean, Randy? I do know mm -hmm. he is a small dog. There's just no way around it. He went to the Adopt-A-Pet, and we take uh, six or eight dogs to the Adopt-A-Pet, and he did really well out and about with all the other dogs. People liked him. To, it's a busy you know, place. a lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. People liked him. Kids liked him. He let kids pet him, hug him. So when you go to an Adopt-A-Pet, and, you know, you're really good at the Adopt-A-Pet, that's kind of... It's the real world test. Yeah, that's a great report card for you when you come back. So we really, really like someone to get Casper out of here because he's so good. ID number 205157, Casper. Well, Randy, here you have our longest residing dog at the shelter. Well, that's an award you don't want to get. You don't want to have it. She's been here since October 23rd. And we know that you don't get that because you're a bad dog. No. You get it because you're just overlooked for some crazy reason. It's true. It's really true. And it's really true about Meg. And we're all scratching our heads wondering why is she still here? She's so good. But we usually say it's because she hasn't found the exact perfect person to take her out of here. She's they haven't picky, found her. And they haven't found her. But we're hoping seeing her on this show, our 15th anniversary show for Rescue Me, that somebody out there right now is looking at her and says, I'm going to go down there and get Meg. That would be a great treat for us, Randy, if that happened. We'd love it. She's great with other dogs. She plays with a number of the dogs here. We usually throw her in with other dogs to see if they're friendly because we know that she is. She loves the agility yard and she walks very nicely on a leash. So those are all high marks for a dog. And Greer's saying she can play with a little teeny dog. Ah. Yeah, and not hurt them or anything, just have a good time. Wow, I didn't know that. She also has half her adoption fee paid already. Well, that's a great deal. That's a bargain for a great animal. Really, we need her to get out of here, folks. So somebody come down here and meet her, fall in love, and take her out. Her ID number, 208882. That's Maggie. And here's the last of our precious puppies. This is the third one out of that litter, Randy, of Bambi and T-Bone, I they think all, his name they was. They all look like twins, triplets. They are. This is the lightest color one. This is Sophie. She's sweet as she can be. Once again, just three months old. ID number 211599. Nine. Come down and see these puppies. The three calmest puppies I've ever I seen. I know, huh? Now, this dog, his name is Sonny, and he is a mix between, or so we think, Randy, here goes, a uh, Belgium Malinois and a uh, Louisiana cat. Catahoula Spotted Leopard Dog. Louisiana Catahoula Spotted Leopard Dog. Uh-huh, your oh, fave. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah, I can see that. There's some coloration there. Look They're at that brindle wild. marking. I mean, this is a handsome, handsome dog. Looks like she'd be fast. He'd be fast mm -hmm. on the run. Mm -hmm. So you could probably get a lot of exercise with this dog and just a lot of attention because it's striking appearance. Exactly. This dog is just a year and four months old and... Uh, his ID number is 211076. That's Sonny. Handsome, handsome boy. As Deborah would say, Randy, when she sees Buddy, aw, it's Buddy. Buddy, a salami head is what she'd say. Well, yeah, but she, she wouldn't be happy. She does, but he's still here. And that's since January. He came in in January and he's oh, still here. Way too long. It's mm -hmm. amazing how calm and together he is. He's a mellow fellow, and he's our volunteer pick of the month. We decided that he, of all the dogs here in the kennel, was a favorite of the volunteers, one that they would like to take home if they could. And there's some monetary reward yes. involved with that? Half his adoption fee is already paid. So if Excellent. you adopt Bunny, Buddy, 
half his adoption fee is already paid. He knows sit and shake and come. He's very loving. He likes to carry his little stuffed toy around with him all the time. I'm surprised he agreed to come out here without it. Because you never see him without a little toy in his mouth. He may look a little silly for this dog to be carrying a little stuffed toy, but he likes it. And I think he's got a great look. That face can launch a thousand ships. <laughs> Don't you think? Oh, maybe a little sail oh, Yes, he says. Okay, buddy, ID number 209430. And we hope that somebody out there is looking at you right now. And will come down here and say, you know what? I'm going to go down there and meet that buddy and give him a chance. That's all these animals need is a chance out of here. That's 209430, buddy. Volunteers are crazy for this dog, Randy. He is so cute. He's just silly. It just, just gives too you too small. Too small. It just gives you a laugh just to see him. We are going to call him Bubba. Bubba is a <laughs> great name for this big old monster, this bruiser who's smaller than our cat. He is smaller than our cat. He's not going to be around long. He just came in on the 13th of May, and I think he's going to fly out of here. He can't weigh two pounds. I don't know. He's a tiny, tiny little thing, and that's the most significant thing about him, I think. I do, too. So if you want to meet Bubba, his ID number is 211774. Bubba. These are newcomers to the shelter. Both these dogs were left off in the night kennel. We have a mother and son combo. We have... Queensland Healers here, both of them. One of them is a Red Merle, and the other one is a Blue Healer. We have the mom, who we're going to call Amy, ID number 211744, and the son, who we're going to call Cal, 211745. You can adopt them together, or you can adopt them apart. These, this breed, the Queensland Healer, very, very smart dogs. So come on down and meet them. Cal, 211745, Amy, 211744. Do you see, Randy, how big that collar is on Rookie? That big collar, which I'm sure must have a phone number on uh, it. Uh-uh-uh. No phone number on that collar, and it would be so easy to do that. So okay. any of you at home who've got a canvas collar on a dog, just get your Sharpie marker out and write your phone number on it, and that dog will never wind up at the shelter. Rookie here is at the shelter. He's just about two years old, and I think he is so handsome. He's a beauty. He uh, looks like he's been well cared for. Yes. He will get you noticed. He is ID number 210905. Rookie. Here's a newcomer, but a volunteer favorite immediately. Her story is that she was separated from her three-week-old puppies. The puppies were given away, and she was dumped at the shelter. Can you imagine that? It's an unreasonable thing to do to a pet. You should keep it for life. It's just wrong. She's just beginning to calm down now. She keeps looking for her puppies and looking for her puppies. Not good. You know, she needs somebody to give her some loving instead. And that's what we're hoping for, that somebody's going to come in, meet her, fall in love, and out she goes. She is our uh, volunteer pick of May. The volunteers felt her story was so compelling that they made her volunteer pick of the month. And I'm happy for that. Will she get some uh, benefit financially? Yes. Half, Half her adoption fee is paid if your volunteers pick. But it says a lot that the volunteers all rally around the volunteer pick. And she's a great, great, sweet dog. Her ID number, 211600. That is Samantha, our volunteer pick of the month. Here's Angus to try his luck at adoption again. He's been here a very long time, but I am confident that very, very soon he's going to find his forever home. Well, there's nothing wrong with Angus, and he's good looking. He is. He went to the Adopt-A-Pet, and he was another dog who um, did well with all the other animals who were there. People really liked him. The kids liked him. A lot of petting, a lot of playing, which is really good for these dogs to experience so we get an idea how well they get along when they're out and about. In the real world. In the real world. And Angus did very well. His uh, adoption fee, adoption fee, half his adoption fee is already paid, so that's great. Only all that money can stay in your pocket. That's $52.50. I think that's a good sum and you get Angus. ID number 958150. Angus. And back to the little dogs, here we have Jingles. 
And he is good about in everything he does. Good on a leash, good little guy, good lap dog, good with other dogs, and he also likes a good long walk. I used to say this was the best pet store in the county. I still think it. We got the big dogs, little dogs, and they're all great. We have a pretty good variety. I, I think you're right. Jingles number 211502. Star has an absolutely beautiful coat. She has that uh, shiny, shiny black coat, and it's a very easy coat to take care of. Short hair. Short hair. She is a um, really nice dog. She is ID number 210351. Star. Meet Martha. This is a gal who likes to play with everyone, and that's her claim to fame. She is one of those dogs that you can throw in with a bunch of dogs, and everybody loves her, everybody wants her attention. What we call a play dummy. The play here. dummy. Meet Martha, <laughs> the play dummy. No offense, sweetheart. She is uh, ID number 211546, a foolproof dog. You are looking at Daisy, and where this is... Where is she? Where, oh, wait, 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 there, there she is, there she, she is. She is one of those dogs everybody wants. She's a Shih Tzu and a Chihuahua mix. Long hair, as you can see. Cute Beauty. as button. Very cute. She's just about four years old, and her name is Daisy. She's a little scared here, Randy. She just came in two days ago. But the volunteers will get her nice and warmed up, so that when you come down here to meet her, she'll be very friendly. Daisy, ID number 211225. Okay, first up for the cats, we've got Daphne. And we're very low on cats because most of our cats are out in foster. We're starting to have litters of kittens, and so they are all out in fosters. We're happy about that, and very few cats here at the shelter. But Daphne is one of our cats at the shelter. Her ID number is 211362, and Daphne happens to be a cat who's got half her adoption fee already paid for her. Yes, if you adopt Daphne, half adoption fee stays in your pocket. That's $40. ID number 211362, Daphne. Okay, we've got Kingsley and Avery here for you. These guys are a bunch of fun. They are lively, they are friendly, they are kittens. What you see is what you get. Two orange tabby boys, Avery, one, two, two, one, one, six, seven, three, and Kingsley, two, one, one, six, seven, two. They are a fun twosome. Adopt one, adopt both. Say hi to Biscuit. She is a sweet cat, nicely marked. She's tabby on white, very, very nice gal. Loves to be in the lap, loves being petted. Her ID number is two, one, one, seven, zero, six. And this is Molly. Molly, as you can see, is a very nicely marked tabby. She is one of these um, dilute tortoiseshells, actually, and tabby involved. She is just about a year old, and her ID number is 211676. That's Molly. So don't forget about the $5 cat spay and neuter with Woods and Animal Services together. Call Woods for an appointment or a $1 microchip at North County Humane Society, and both are available indefinitely. So take advantage of that. Or adopt Molly, 211676. You are so correct. This is not a cat, but it does look like a dilute tortoiseshell if it were a cat. This is a sweet, sweet bunny. His name is Little Gray. He's just about a year old, and he's a good representation of the bunnies we have here. All of our bunnies are just $5 each. That's right, any bunny that you come down and pick, $5. And they're really nice pets. Little Gray's number is 210310. 